What's up guys, Nick here with the brand new Let's Play beginning on the channel, Elder Scrolls Oblivion! Yes, I said it was going to be on Fridays, but I decided let's start off strong during the week on Monday with Oblivion! Unless the game just froze. Which I think it did. Nope, there it goes. Okay, a little concerned there for a second. I've always loved this game. It's by far my favorite 360 game. You know, even though Gears of War is up there, but this is the first one I played. There it goes. I'm like, where's the music at? Loading extra content. Yes, I have all the DLC. This is the game you. Game of the Year Edition. I might have it too loud on I thought the music was gone. And yes, apparently it takes a while for the extra content to load. I'm recording it at 8 o'clock in the morning. I went to work. They sent me home because... Our truck wasn't going to get there until later, so I have plenty of time. All right, game. Thank you. And we are starting a brand new game. No one has escaped from the Imperial prison in over 40 years since the days of Jagar Tharn, Tharn and the Imperial. Not pronouncing that. I'll probably, I'll probably butcher it. But this was my first ever 360 game, and I've always loved it ever since. It's probably one of the best RPGs action RPGs whatever that I've ever really played it always has a good place in my heart I love it to death so and I'm glad that you know Skyrim kept to that but I think this one has a better story I was born 87 years ago for 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's Emperor yes that is Patrick Stewart but for all these years I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Yeah, th when I first saw this, I'm like, oh my god, this game is cool. Dude, in, in my opinion, I think they should have made a the remastering of this seed, game first the year of and add, like, Skyrim's fighting styles and stuff like that These so you can cast two spells and all that. Era. I think that'd be pretty cool for this and game. The final hours Would they do it? Probably life. not. But it's nice to do it for Skyrim, at least. Bethesda Game Studios. The music's always been, like, uh... Pirate Sea. Pirate Sea? Pirate Sea. Yeah, that's what I have to say. Pirate Sea. I don't know what that means. Oblivion! Like I've said, this game holds a dear place in my heart. I, I love this game to death. And if y'all want me to, I'll play Skyrim also in the future. Maybe I'll play the remastered edition. But we're about to go to whatever. Ah! <laughs> I've never actually. Okay. All right. And now we have to pick our character or play, customize our character. Oh, and I will be playing as a cat. Um, actually, I don't think my character's gonna have, like... Do I have to pick hair? I do! Okay. Uh... Well, if I have to go that route... Make it long as hell, then. Oh yeah, 
face tones. Why does it make his face like green? Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I don't... It could just be the lighting. I'm hoping. Uh, close enough. I'm hoping it's the lighting, otherwise I'll fix it when I come back to it. His nose is way too big. Wow, that's... That's like doing virtually nothing. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm saying his nose is big, but it's supposed to be. A beard. He's a cat. He doesn't have a beard. Shape. Seriously, can we, like... Fine by me. Eyes. That changes his eye color. Yeah. Um. That's just skin tone and all that. Oh, so you can't have a different eye color. Okay. Let's make him young as hail. Complexion. Yeah. Alright. That's as close as I'm going to get. And his name... Shall be... In honor of Bud's Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. His name shall be Katnik. And I'll have... I'll try and play as much in third person as I can. Wake up, kitty kitty. That's it. There's a rat in my cell, yeah. cousin. A fat, tasty rat. Does the kitty want it? Is the kitty hungry? You'd better take whatever you can get in here, Kashit. They don't feed the new prisoners. Didn't you know that? First, they starve you. And y'all see this then happening? They beat you. That's my controller. Then my controller's being a butthead lately. That's but at least in this game, it doesn't bother me that much. Other games that involve cover-based does. Because it's just this. I'm not even touching the controller. For you. Need to grab a new controller sometime soon. Like, that's just me barely touching it. Like, and I know why my, my control right stick is really is sensitive after I dropped it a couple of What's this prisoner times. Doing What's up, dudes? Here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. So usual mix up with the watch. I never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. All right. You, prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. Stay put, Good. prisoner. Let's okay, jeez. You I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Dude, you've been and dreaming of cats too? Right. Nice. This is the day. Gods now. give me strength. Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading sorry, out dude. of the city. <laughs> it's escape. like, I'm sorry. By chance. The entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. I'll probably play this game 30 minutes or so. Uh, Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for really? what you have done. Why am I matter. here? That 
is not. Our character be good at cinemas or not cinema sense, gaming sins. I am your emperor. You're, You're not my septim. emperor. Dude, I'm a By cat. The grace of the gods, You're a human. I serve Tamriel as her ruler. I'm a cat. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Her who? You will find your own path. I want to play my character as like a, care, a nice guy. He's not going to be, be a dick. Blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not. Let's check something. Um. Yeah, that's, that's good enough, I guess. Crosshairs and everything. Controls. Always double check. There's no way to go from the other side. Yeah, the horizontal needs to be higher. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our way. Three there. Now if it gets too annoying for me, can I go into it? Yeah. Yeah, I might have to go you at the end of this part you get to go back to the beginning and fix them. I'm gonna do that. Just fix his face. His face is like blue. But other than that, skin color's fine. Looks like a cheetah. His tail is blue. God. Alright. I don't get to torture nothing. Dicks. He move? Okay. And I'll always cust uh, get my own custom, like... This game, this is so weird to me to play. Jesus! He pulled a sword out! I can't see. For the Emperor! For the Take that. Are you all right? Well, when I'm dead, I'll take that there. And a torch. And I'll take your sword. Captain and no, I, I prefer not to use their swords. And it's been a while, so forgive me if I don't remember how to play correctly. There we go. And you can still block! How could they be waiting for us here? Don't know <laughs> Holy crap! They've been waiting for us here! No shit, Sherlock. They won't be the first. I can use the uh, katanas, I'll take point. but Let's move you end up having to give them back anyway. Stay here, prisoner. You don't, don't have a choice. Okay, bye. And this is your first or second enemy type of fight. And it's not like Dark Souls. I've been playing Dark Souls 2 lately. I find that a little bit better than Dark Souls 1. Just the... That my character has, like, heavy armor on and everything. Uh-oh. Alrighty. Grab that shield. Grab the bow. Get all these arrows. Um, and I'm gonna have my dude in light armor. So, grab those two. Grab that and that. Um, how do you do the hotkey thing? Whoops. Hotkey that one there. Hotkey the bow down here. Sword up here. And I always have the arrows equipped it either way. Alright, and all you have to do is just... Oh, that was wrong. Okay. And this is why I can't do the bow and arrow there. I like the bow and arrow in most games, actually. Ever since I started playing, uh, what was it, uh, Tomb Raider, and I actually did beat that game. That was a fun game. Take all those, and yes, like I said, most of the time I will be in for. Uh, Third person mode, except to use a bow and arrow. Use some bow and arrow, I have to be in first. I don't have the shield. Oh. 
And you do use stamina, but stamina does not go away that quick. Especially since I think I'm playing a character that has like high stamina. Yeah, he has 150. Like bow and arrow, I won't use that that much unless to like sneak up. Oh no, I've been saying oh no, it's rats. And yes, there's zombies in this game, but it's not like. And that, it took me a while to figure out what that was. That is their health bar. I never knew what that was. For the longest time, I'm like, what is that bar? And you can use spells while you have a shield and that, which I've always found helpful. In the other game, you can't. But you can't double wield a spell. Boing. Did I equip my nice. So if you use it in a certain way, it'll equip it'll uh de equip the other. That one's usually get locked. Do you saw my arrow, you little bastard? Yeah. And I collect arrows like crazy in these games. Just because it's kind of easier to keep what you got. To keep what you get. Up, oh, missed. It's the first miss. Second miss. And usually I keep, keep to like healing magic. Just because that, I hit him right in the tail. That sucked to be him. Now, for these, usually I don't use the heavier ones, but considering it, it blocks a little bit more, just by two. And it's supposed to make you go slower, but it really doesn't. And there is no run button. This, this is my character running. Ow, shit. That took two hits. And in this game, weapons can break. So make sure to have, like, repair hammers and crap on you. Uh, okay. Whatever. I know this level like the back of my hand either way. Well. And I, I usually pick, like, the easiest ones to level up. Like, acrobatics and athletics. All you have to do is just jump around or walk. Where's the other mouse? There's usually a second one somewhere. He might be, like, right up here. I might just do this one up until the point that we get out. And there's no shield bash. Like, in Skyrim, there's no shield bash. Oh, Skyrim has it. This one does not. What's up? The sensitivity on this is kind of weird. It's, it's just I don't usually play these games in third person. Really? Hotkeys? I never knew what hotkeys were. Well, actually, this part might be like 40 or 50 minutes, so I might do it until that point, not sure. I'll make a decision, whatever. Uh, whoops. Oliver Queen! <laughs> uh, he went far. <laughs> now there's a trap right here. 
You can activate it or jump over it. I usually activate it. Or jump over it. Oh, now you use that. This one's hard to fail. Just do this. You can kill both of them in one hit. you got. Now he has some, uh, he had a bow. So we're gonna take that. There's two chests right here. I might as well just, um, hello? Thank you. Now here's how you do this. You have to make sure that hits the top. I usually do this a couple times so I actually get it. And then you just press A whenever that one gets to the top. Some iron arrows. The potions I never use until, like, it's desperate. Crap. I normally cannot th hit this guy on the first try. Oh, yeah! That was a good shot. Alright, there's him. Close. I hit him, but I... Ah, hell. Here he comes. Bring it on, dude. Wait, I can block? I thought there was a punch button. Alright. I know the other button doesn't do anything. The left bumper doesn't do anything. Uh, arrow. Those are selling material for me. Uh, you can choose to kill these rats. I forgot what button it was to stop this. That's nah, screw it. Did I hit one? Yeah, I think it I'm gonna take a staff while I'm at it. Like I said, you can choose to kill those things. It's a little bit more XP for you. <laughs> Alright. Get out of that. Sorry. You didn't see me. Now, usually there's no way to get, like, back there. I just jumped through there. <laughs> and usually there's, I think, a... Sh yeah, a long sword. There's. You find a repair helmet. And I'm always going to do that. Alright, what? how much damage does this do? One. You do one damage? Not key that there then. I prefer to use long sword either way. Oh, you can walk oh, that way. Okay, whatever. There's a chest. And yeah, you can do auto attempt. Um, I take a lot of stuff to sell. Is we eventually meet up with those guys again, and they'll probably look at me like, "Aren't you the prisoner? How do you have a lot of armor and weaponry and all that?" Trust me, I'm gonna need it. Protect the emperor until help arrives. Help? What makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? We need to get the emperor out of here. Mind blocking. <laughs> Where's the other one? I think that was all of them. Let me take a look around. Have you No could he? Damn it, that prisoner again. Nope. Kill him. He might be working with the assassins. Nope. No, he is not one of them. Nope. He can help us. <laughs> no, I'm not! He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what They I've of course seen. they don't. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how nine they guide what? our fates with an invisible I hand. know what Nine is talking about, but... 
The Nine God doesn't protect us. I'm not good at I'm not in good terms with them. I don't know. I don't think about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think about the it. Nine they say that he says the same thing regardless. My course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. All right, now we choose a sign, which gives us additional abilities, more points on certain things. Uh, the warrior gives you more strength and endurance, and steed gives you 20 in speed. Um, I'm playing a cat character, so let's give him the steed. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today, the steed shall speed your progress on the road <laughs> to <laughs> death. Can you see my fate? Aren't you afraid no to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me. But I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. I've always wondered about in your face, I the Elder Scrolls the games, or hell, even Fallout games. What happens to the characters after the story's over? The coming darkness. Like, most of them just with end. Hope, and, with the and then they go to the next aid, game, and it's like, whatever happened to them? I go Dragon to Age did that right. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. Because initially you your character's supposed to die in Origins. Then we Two, he goes on because he's in Inquisition. You may as well make yourself. I don't care. Stick close and let us torch. He gives me a torch, just like I have two. I don't care. Oh, there was the other one. Okay. There's a dude like right there. Come on. Oh shit. Hello. Oh. And my dude does not have hardly any health. Uh, I'm just checking to see if they have any potions. I usually sell the potions. Send him straight into battle! My health is not that low. The game's like, your health is low. No, it's not. What's that other one y'all fought? Am I even close to leveling up? Oh no. <laughs> the progression bar hasn't even started. What's in here? Some potions? There's a certain point I'm gonna stop. Did they go through already? Yeah. There's a certain spot I'm going to stop. I'm not going to stop whenever we get out because that's that's an extra like 15 minutes or so. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Okay. Yeah. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through for the sewers. But I must. Mother Shield's not there. Did I hotkey that? No, apparently not. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! It's a trap! What about that side passage back there? We're the try. Let's go.
Let's just go with him, I guess. Yeah. It's a dead end. You Can't shut the I door. It says open, but you... Good options here. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Okay. Bye. He just kind of stares at you for a minute. I can go no he talks. further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. He must not have the, Take amulet. the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him. Makes you wonder and how many kids he has. The jaws of oblivion. This is what freaked me out when I first played. I'm like, uh oh. It's like, dude, watch out. Stranger. You chose Sandals! Yeah, you go ahead and talk there. I'll be back in a second. Where's your buddy? Oh, the sword's already gone. What? Where is it? I took a step in my athletics increase. Alright. Fine by me. Uh, your sword's gone, isn't it? Well, oh well. It was up. The blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. I like Boris. They say it's the dragon. Is it Boris or Boris? I call it Boris for some reason. Boris. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Joffrey? He said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, we we're need supposed this to be secret. the last door into the sewers. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced pilgrim. Am I right? Sure. He actually gave me a suggestion. No. All right, I'm gonna make my own class because that's what I always do. So I'm gonna pick combat, just because my character's not gonna use magic. Uh, I mean that won't be good too, but I'll be using athletics, blade, block, whatever. And we're gonna go with strength and speed, and then you choose seven. All right, ath ath acrobatics. Athletics, blade, block, lights, marksman, a restoration. Okay, what are we going to call this? Um, let's just give it a stupid name. Cat power. I don't know. That's not a cat. Yep. Really? I would never have guessed. <laughs> Sarcasm! You have any trouble with rats and goblins. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances. You know what? Let's go ahead and get out of the sewer. Well, I'll make it a little bit longer of an episode. Why not? Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body, and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it's- You're welcome. Now here's the weird thing. Leave the Emperor. He won't let you, uh, take it, or go through his stuff. Now this is what happens whenever you try and put on Amulet of Kings. It slips off as you try to fasten it around your neck. 
So no, you can never put that on. Not once. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through the whole thing. Screw it. I was originally just gonna stop there and it's like, alright, eh. It shouldn't take no more than like 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. A journeyman army can repair magical weapons and armor. And sometimes your arrows do not come back. Yoink. Well, that one missed. Oh! He hit his head. Oh, he has silver nugget. Take that too. At least they both have my arrows. Another rat somewhere. Probably in here. There he is. Hey, buddy. I essentially have the game on, like, uh, normal mode, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't that long. I forgot about this spot. It's not that long, actually. Not even two or three minutes. Hey. <laughs> I just stood there for a second. He didn't do anything. Alright, I need to edit this. Just because his nose is like blue. There we go. God. No. That's better to sit there. So he's gonna be more like dark. Alright, that's good. Edit class, none of that. Birth race, all that's gonna be good. And then we escape prison! Alright, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're gonna travel... Well, we're gonna read this. We're gonna travel to Wayne and Priory. But I always go into that like little dungeon place right there, so we're going to do that first when we come back. So thank you for watching this first episode of Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Next one, I will see you then. Peace out.